All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna to install DXVK in GTA 5. If you're experiencing stuttering or low FPS issues in Grand Theft Auto 5, DXVK is here to save the day. So I'm running my setup on an i3-7100 equipped with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the Intel HD 630. Yeah, it's definitely a potato setup, but we'll make it work. As for the DXVK version, we'll be using 1.4.3. I know it's a bit of an old version, but the important thing is that it works great. And yeah, sometimes older versions can actually perform better than newer ones. All right, so here's what you gotta do. First, you'll need to extract the downloaded file, then head over to the X64 folder since GTA 5 is a 64-bit game and requires the files from that specific folder. Okay, so then head over to your C drive, then to your Windows folder, and then to your System32 folder. There you'll find this file called d3dcompiler43.dl. You'll need to copy that file and then paste it in the DXVK folder for the next step of the process. Now we're moving on to the main step. For this, we're gonna make use of a program called CFF Explorer. I've left a link to it in the description of this video, so just go ahead and download it. Once you have the program ready, open it up. All right, then in the CFF Explorer, open the D3D compiler 43.dl file, which we copied from the system32 folder in the C drive. Then click on import adder. Then click on add and then go inside x64 folder. Then click on d3d11.dl file and then open. Then select all exported functions, then click on import by name. Then click on rebuild import table. Then again, click on add and then go inside x64 folder. Just like d3d11, we're gonna do same process with dxvi. then select DXGI, then select all exported functions. Then click on import by name and then hit on rebuild import table. Then click on file and then hit save then click on yes. All right, then copy the D3D compiler 43.dl file and D3D11 and DXG.dl files from X64 folder. Then select all these files and paste them right into the GTA 5 directory. All right, so we have successfully installed DXVK in GTA, in GTA 5. Now it's time to see the difference it makes in the game. We'll be comparing the performance of DirectX and DXVK to see if there's any improvements. You can clearly see the difference here. DirectX has lower GPU usage and lower FPS, while DXVK is utilizing the GPU much better, resulting in much higher FPS overall. And yeah, another notable difference is the GPU memory usage. Look at in DirectX, it's much lower, but at the same time with DXVK, it's significantly higher. 
This shows that DXVK is actually utilizing the GPU memory much better and more effectively. It's important to note that DXVK might not support older 4th gen graphics like the Intel HD 4600. This is because DXVK requires Vulkan and Vulkan is only supported from 6th generation Intel CPUs and onward. So if you have an older setup, this might not work for you. But of course you should still give it a try, even if you have an older setup with a Haswell CPU. It might still work for you, so don't hesitate to try it out and let me know if it worked for you in the comments. It's also important to mention that GTA 5 has a high love for RAM, so if you're using Intel HD graphics, it's best to have at least 16 gigabytes of dual stick RAM. If you don't have enough RAM, DXVK may not work properly, and you might experience frame drops in the game. So make sure you have at least 16 gigabyte RAM to play this game smoothly. All right. All right, as you can see in this area, the performance boost we've gotten from DXVK over DirectX is huge. There's no denying it. Wow, look at the difference. And yeah, just for reference, we ran this benchmark on 720p low using DirectX 10 with textures set to very high. Also, it's worth noting that the texture quality doesn't have a significant impact on the FPS.